Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you serious? This is exploding my mind. First question is, how do you actually tell your non-Armenian friends uh, and guests why there's so many people at your wedding? We have, we just say we have a large family, and which it's, it's true, her family is just I think that it, like a lot of them had an idea of what Armenian weddings were like, but they had never been to one. But I had told all of them, I was like, just so you know, it's gonna be huge. There's gonna be a lot of food. The alcohol's on the table. Um, <clears throat> so they came somewhat prepared, but then I think when they got there, they were like, what? What is this? <laughs> the biggest thing was the money throwing. Is uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh my God. <laughs> One of our friends who's not Armenian, he, did he know about it, he said, or he like saw people doing it, so he wanted to join in, but like, he just walked up to us and just like threw it at us. <laughs> A friend of mine got carried away. Uh, he's uh, not Armenian, so he got in the spirit of things and just reached out into his wallet and just threw the 20s that he had. <laughs> what was no, what was Conan's reaction? Was that his first Armenian wedding? Yes. yes. I mean, you know, the next day everybody was like, that was crazy. But Conan really got into it because also he knows a lot of my family. He knows a lot of my friends. Him and his, him and his wife, Liza, just like know a lot of people in my life already. So, but they kind of went with the flow. Like if people were dancing, then they got up and they started dancing. And like, you know, he, if, if it was, he didn't know how to Armenian dance, so he just like hopped up and down and was just like trying his best. And then my mom actually did something that was one of my favorite parts of the, of the night was she had uh, emailed a lot of my non-Armenian friends and a lot of my Armenian friends to do a shurchbot in the middle of the wedding. And she had asked Conan to be a part of it, and he agreed. So in the middle of, this, of the reception, a lot of my like non-Armenian friends came down, people from his side came, and they did just a big shurchbad. Had they actually tried like practice? Yeah, yeah, my mom had like sent everybody a video with my, my uh, Auntie Isabel, my best friend's mom, and then they called Tax mom, and then she got in touch with some of his friends and sent the video to them, and so, but, I think the video though didn't specify that the dance actually moves to the yeah. right. Yeah, it was <laughs> so someone in place. It was just in place. <laughs> in place of dancing. So it just took him completely by surprise. Yeah. Like, Whoa. So they had yeah. To my two maid of honors were leading it, and then they were like, "What? We're moving?" <laughs> <laughs> so what are some other events from the wedding that favorite moments from the wedding day? That one time I got to eat. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> the, the ceremony was really cool. My parents got married here 40 years ago. So the, the priest who married my parents and also baptized my brother was mm -hmm. at our ceremony. Did, did he actually conduct the ceremony? Was yes, he did. Yeah, he did. And he speaks English. And we had a lot of people who weren't Armenian at the wedding. So uh, like, I mean, the ceremony was like half an Armenian and half an English, which is good because I even have trouble <coughs> understanding sometimes. Yeah. So I actually like understood the ceremony. Tax dad sang. Mm -hmm. Oh, how nice. So that was a really cool moment. Armenian or English? He's a really, really good singer. He's been doing it forever. And he, like an international singer. So he did an Italian song, a Russian song, an Armenian song. He did a Rubo Hachverdzian song. And then the band covered Welcome to the Jungle. And yes. that made my night. The band mm -hmm. was one of my favorite parts of it too, for sure. Yeah. They were awesome. Is there anything that you guys did to personalize the wedding. You know what? Because Tax a graphic designer. We had a little kind of logo with both of our faces yeah, like that he icon. had uh, mm -hmm. was it a etched caricature? out. Yeah, like a caricature, Jeff. Yeah. And then um, we put that on the on the invitations. There was uh, forms we ha handed out at the um, ceremony that kind of explained everything that was happening. We had those there too. I wanted non-floral centerpieces. So I wanted little trees. And our florist found a way to just make tiny trees happen on all the tables. Yeah, so people took them home and like some people planted them. Did you guys have any Armenian traditions that you guys incorporated to your wedding? They did do the one that I had objected to, which is when you're about to leave the house and then his kavod pays my brother to allow me to leave the house to get married. So he's like buying me? 
or he's paying for my freedom. I it's don't know what that means. I know, but you, I know. You're bribing the brother, essentially. That's what it is. But like, because he's so upset that you're leaving, that, that we're taking you, you're like buttering him up. But you that's know? another like, thing is that my brother, like, I mean, $20 and he'd be like, take her. <laughs> but then also, like, my brother put my shoes on, which was awesome. We're just not a very traditional kind of family. So he's putting my shoes on in front of like all these people. And I remember like under my breath, I was like, put my shoes on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole like Zurna Tumblek thing, you know? Yeah. Uh, walk up the neighborhood. Uh, were there anything of your wedding day that didn't go as planned? And what were they? I can't say anything went wrong. I mean, we were late. A lot. About 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, we were taking pictures at our friend's house in Altadena. And they have a really cool house. And so there were just like so many pictures we wanted to take that by the time we left, it was late. I remember I stepped on the back of your dress and it ripped a oh, little hook. Yeah. <laughs> right yeah. when we were about to enter the hall. I was going to kill you. Looking back at your wedding, is there anything that um, you would do differently? Choose a smaller venue. Well, I wouldn't do anything different. I think it was perfect. Aww. That's, that's how you're supposed to answer yes. that question. Like, I wanted to talk to people, and I could only really talk to people for, like, a minute at a time, and I just really wanted my time with people, and I never really... Why are you well, smiling? that's, like, a thing. No one gets to spend time in dilly-dally. Yeah. It's always just like, ha, ah, ah, ha, you, you, and then you. It's all just... Your head starts spinning and it's just one big blur. When you're not Armenian, you get to do really cool things for your wedding because you have like 40 people at your wedding. But you know, we got we went to one in Berkeley where they got married in the Redwoods. And another friend of mine uh, that I, I officiated a wedding where she got married at the, uh, the bowling alley. At the bowling alley in Highland Park. Mm -hmm. And then Tax friends got married at the El Rey Theater. And then oh, they had cool. like acts, like musical acts and yeah, magic. It was a magician. Magician. You think like, oh, the cool things you could do when your guest list isn't astronomical and you could, you know. I don't know, but the energy of an Armenian wedding. Yeah, it's true. Everyone That's said true. that was like one of the best weddings and funnest weddings. We I've had ever a really good. At like 1:30, there were still a ton of people, Armenian, non-Armenian. I've never, never seen that before, where they they actually the DJ stops and then people are like singing a cappella, and then the DJ's like, okay, I guess I'll play some more songs. <laughs> the photo booth guy, he was like, okay, I'm gonna start like wrapping up, and if there's nothing else, we're like, okay, thanks for coming. 20 minutes later, he's in the wedding dancing with everybody. <laughs> Just this random guy in like a t-shirt. Did you, do you have any advice you would give to future brides and grooms? Oh. Yeah, don't get married. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Except for <laughs> no. I, I would definitely recommend someone just like have somewhere where they could like throw all their feelings into it so you're not yelling at everyone around you, which I still did. I also think that I would probably recommend not for any bride not to compromise too much of what she wants. Any details of a wedding that you could still keep as your as unique to you, you should be able to do that. Because there's so much of it that's just out of your hands. How did you guys choose your honeymoon location? Well, uh, we talked about it and turned out both of us had wanted to, been wanting to go to Japan. Well, also, you know, the thought process is, I mean, we're both like, we're not like a bride and groom in our young, early 20s, you know, we're like older. So we figured if we have to have kids soon, then Japan is the kind of place that we want to go before we have kids. Yeah. We saw that Conan was also in Japan at the same time. So no. did Conan Con crash your No, <laughs> no, he didn't. So it just worked out that Conan was going to Japan at the same time we were, but we were in a different city. We were in Kyoto when he was in Tokyo. So we never crossed paths. But a lot of people thought that I like went there for work, and then while I was there for work, I was like, might as well have my honeymoon there too, <laughs> <laughs> which is not the case. And uh, the other question everyone asks me is if he ever got me a car, which he did not. Thank you guys very much for taking the time answering all these questions. We really appreciate it, and we're so excited to hear your story, and we can't wait to feature it all over on hearthsetting.com pretty soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, my nieces. I look good.
This is exploding my mind. Hi, Gil. Dude, this is pretty cool. Are you kidding me? Wow. Super cool. Are you kidding? Oh my God. That was the coolest. It was like I was reliving the wedding.